good, I think. Wait, what? We are good. Alright. Well, rookie we'll here, we're in. Let's go that way. <laughs> it's not correct. The United States National Hall of Fame. Let's go. Let's, let's go. Ooh. Is the Saturn one we'll we'll the the now was built for the early and later parts of the Apollo program, and uh, off in the distance, the blue rocket, the Delta II or New edition here, was built for launch in 1955, when President Dwight Eisenhower announced that we would be participating with 65 member nations of the United Nations in something called the International Geophysical Year. To learn more about the Earth and its environment, and America's contribution would be a launch an artificial satellite to show the Earth. A few days later, the Soviet Union said they would do the same thing, and they would be a 1957, yeah, putting up the first Earth satellite, and it was called Sputnik. <laughs> now, we proceeded, and just about three months later, launched the first American satellite of Earth. It was called Explorer 1. Now, Explorer 1 was launched on a rocket called the Jupiter C or Juno 1 launch vehicle. That's the rocket you see to my right. It has the letters UE painted on the side. Now, it launched on January 31st, oh, 1958. The very top looks like a giant pencil. Well, that would be the Explorer 1 spacecraft. It's credited with making the first space discovery. That two belts of radiation surround the Earth to protect it. And they were named after the man who discovered it. Dr. James Van Allen, and to this day they're called the Van Allen Radiation Belts. Now, after January 31st, 1958, I'm, my 1958 battery slowly rolled into 1959, has a and we passed a very historic date. In the meantime, October 1st, 1958. On that day, one government agency came to an end, another one was made to replace it. The one that ended operations, uh, let's try that again, but the one that ended operations that day was called NACA, National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics. The one that began that day, well, it was going to be made of all the different research centers newly combined. The Langley Research Center in Virginia, the Lewis Research Center in Ohio, the Ames Research Center in Mopitude, California, the Army Ballistic Missile Agency in Huntsville, Alabama, and the Jet Propulsion. How do, you, how do you even get in this thing? <laughs> how the heck do you even get in this thing? Okay, what? Well, I tried. <laughs> that was physically impossible to do. Yeah, let's try it. Let's go this way now. That was just embarrassing. 
That was embarrassing. I feel, I feel like an idiot. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna go up this way now.